Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we just been doing the same shit over and over again. You know? And people are ready, I should change up the pace. But I honestly don't really know what to do. But I did get like a suggestion, like somebody said like maybe I should draw a tattoo design that I wanna get or something along those lines, right? Or write a song or like you know, I do like pretty good recommendations obviously. And yeah, so in this one I guess I will try to draw a tattoo design, even though like I'm kinda I don't think I'm not really gonna get any more tattoos. You know. And <clears throat> I'm sure some of you have probably wondered like yo like you know, like why are your tattoos just like all over the place, like why don't they really flow and all that stuff, right? Or why like they don't look centered in some places or like, you know, in the dead center, whatever. <clears throat> and the reason for that is I got them when I was like a teenager. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And that was like a while ago, like a long time ago. And you know, when you're a teenager, you don't really think of the long term consequences. You just want to get a tattoo and you think it's cool, blah blah. Right? And yeah, and for me, I kind of just like, so like, it's, like you might be like, why are some of them not centered? Just because like, like when the artist put them on, like to show me like how the design would look, right? I actually was like, yo, like, you know, like I couldn't see it in the mirror when I was like looking at myself, like standing straight, right? Cause I honestly just wanted tattoos so I can like look at myself and see them myself. You know what I mean? It wasn't really like about trying to impress anyone or whatever. So, yeah, I was like, yo, like, can you like make it like so I can see it a bit more? And he was like, yo, like, that's not a good idea. Maybe I should have listened to him, but I didn't, right? And so he put him wherever I wanted so I could see them in the mirror. Like on myself and all that, right? Because it's like, it was, like, the vision was like, I wanted stuff that like, if I ever lost my memory or whatever, like they could always like remind me of what's important. I know it's so cliche, right? It's like so memento, but I don't even know memento existed back then. I don't even know if it did or not, but you know, I, I didn't get that idea from there. It was just something that, I don't know. I just always had that like feeling for some reason. I'm like, I should get something that like, I would like, I always want to tell myself and remind myself or like whatever messages I thought were like really meaningful back then, right? So I got that kind of stuff. And it's ironic, like later on, I guess I joined boxing and I actually lost like, you know, my memory and all that. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell sometimes like, I got like mess up words or they can't reach it right or like forget what I'm talking about. And a lot of the times, like, I don't even know if I've done something. And then people tell me, oh, you did this. I'm like, what? Like, yeah, they're like, oh, you did this. Don't you remember? I'm like, no, I have, like, no memory of these things. But that's kind of bad because it can get me in a lot of trouble when I forget. You know what I'm supposed to do and not supposed to do, but, you know. So in that sense, I kind of wish I hadn't really even went into boxing, but whatever, you know. I don't know, is this two lines or three lines? It might be three lines. This one, it might just be without darkness, then there can be no light. So no light might be here or something. There. Without darkness, there can be no light, no light. I don't know, something like that. It might be two rows or three rows, I'm not too sure. Right. Anyways, so these are the tattoos I have currently, I guess, on my right arm, right? Or some variation of these. 
So if I was like, see how you might be like, oh, it's all over the place, right? So, yeah, I mean, you know, you might be like, oh, these tattoos are like all over the place because this is like what I currently have, I guess. And, you know, it's like I should improve these, right? But, you know, it's like, what else can I really get? I mean, since it's like already like all over the place, what I was thinking was to just like turn this one into a sleeve, like straight up. But I don't know what kind of designs I would want. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I think at one point I thought about like having clouds over here, right? And then having like sunlight shining through, right? Like this, like this is a cloud, like where it says, without darkness there can be no light and then there's like a sun right here you know and then the sunlight is like shining down like you know you know what i'm talking about and then have like two angels on each side you know something like that I'm doing such a shitty job at this, but you know what I mean. That one looks kind of evil, though. But yeah, so this is one of the designs I was actually thinking. But now that I'm older, like this is actually something I had planned out actually, and then have like the club kind of shaded. Like this is something I had planned out, but. This is something I planned out when I was like, you know, back in the day. Now it's like, you know, it's like, you know how people say, oh, don't get the tribal stuff, it's so cliche. Oh, everybody gets that, this and that, right? And then because of that saying, everybody's like been avoiding those even if they like it. Like, that's something I actually really like, you know what I mean? So I might just like one day decide to say F it and then just turn this whole thing into like a tribal design. You know what I mean? Cause I don't know, like I don't really care what people think like that. Like they might be like, oh that's so cliche. You should have got something more original. But it's like, you know, if you like see that's the thing, like who who am I trying to please? I'm doing this for myself. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it might look more original and all that nonsense, but, like, but if I, like, like this design, and this is what I want, why am I gonna, like, try to please other people's opinions and get something else just to seem all, like, sophisticated and different? Like, do you kind of know what I'm trying to say? Like, oh, to, like, you know, not seen, be seen as cliche, like, no. You know, like how LeBron says, like, oh, he read, like, everybody's a sheep, he'd rather be a goat, right? Like, he's trying to say, like, he, like instead of being a sheep, he'd rather be a goat, because a goat is the greatest of all time, right? And for me, it's like, yeah, that's cool, and everybody's like, oh, yeah, I'd rather be a goat. You know, it's the same thing, like, with them saying, oh, I don't want the tribal, because it's so, like, tacky, or oh, so cliche, it's overplayed, and all that nonsense, right? So they try to fit in with the popular culture and the thoughts and whatever. And, you know, that's the equivalent of people saying, oh, I'd rather be a goat than a sheep. But them following that ideology, you know, set by the society and others, and they're following it. What's a sheep? Sheep is a follower. So even if they think they're trying to be a goat, that's still being a sheep, you know? I'd rather be a wolf, you know? What is wolf? Wolf is winning over loss forever. Or you can replace the L and say winning over life forever. Or <laughs> winning over love forever. Basically, you're winning forever. So, like, you don't ever lose, all right? Like, LeBron's, like, the greatest of all time. But I'm sure he's lost, like, some games in his life. At least one, right? But he's still considered the greatest of all time. And I'd rather be beyond that, you know? I'd rather make my own philosophy and be like, you know, well, yeah, that's nice. It's nice to be the greatest of all time, but I'd rather be the best forever and win forever. You know what I mean? But that's just my way of thinking. So now it's like, 
you know, I might as well just get the, the tribal stuff if that's what I want. You know what I mean? It's like, think about it. Like, I could have had like such a sick tribal design instead of all this other stuff. But I guess I felt like these things were important back then. Like, go oh, without darkness. There can be no light. Like, it's really deep, that message. <laughs> and, but it's like, isn't that kind of like being a copycat too? Because like, I saw someone with a design, like with the, you know, Grim Reaper. And it said like, without darkness, there can be no light. You know what I mean? So, you know, how is that any more original than like, you know? Like, yeah, they, it's always not a tribal design, so people are going to be like, oh, that's so sick. But in an essence, it's not exactly, like, still being original. And, like, to avoid, like, tribal designs or whatever, just to fit in with the crowd and the popular beliefs, like, that's, that's not unique. And I guess, like, in my opinion, tattoos are supposed to be, like, important kind of things and designs that you like you know something that talks and resonates with you and honestly like these kind of designs like these are what I like honestly like I'm at the point where I won't even like I don't even think I'm gonna care what people say or think anymore if I like decide to get more tattoos like I'm, like I always wanted this like I always wanted just like tribal to be honest you know, but I got other stuff because it had, like, meaning, too. But I don't know. So maybe, like, this arm instead of, like... Because the tribal might look kind of all over the place, right, with the other designs. Or I might be able to find an artist who can fit it all properly. I highly doubt it, though. But if I can, then, I like, obviously I'll get it like this. But if not, then I'm going to probably turn this arm into, like, a sleeve. And then the other arm, because it's like only halfway done, right? Like there's a tattoo here on the other side and over here. That one I'm going to turn like full on tribal. Like, you know, that that'd be like the tribal sleeve. And this one would be like the normal one. Like, you know, like the pop culture kind of stuff. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. I don't know. It's just, you know. I don't know why I always like the tribal design. I have no idea. You know, for me, it's just like, it looks cool. You know, people might be like, oh, but you're not from that tribe or whatever, right? Okay, that's cool. But it's like, kind of like having tiger stripes. You know, like some people get like, like leopard print tattoos or whatever. It's, mo it's mainly girls who do that. But, you know, it's kind of like that. But for me, like the tribal, like these kind of like designs, they look like tiger stripes, you know what I mean? It's like, I already have like a tattoo of a lion, which I need to get fixed up, obviously, because it's not the best, but, you know, it's like, okay, so I already have the lion, and if I get that fixed up, that's okay, we have the lion, and then the tiger stripes are like, you know, being a lion and a tiger, best of both worlds, you know? Stuff like that. Obviously, my way of thinking might not really flow with other people's, thinking whatever but I don't know man like shit like if you're gonna get a tattoo or whatever like you're already not really following like the societal norms right so why are you gonna listen to people tell you what designs you should get or not get get what I mean cause like does that kinda make sense or no alright well, I guess the light is off so it's overheating, so I should probably just do some other kind of ASMR now. But, you know, that doesn't require intense lighting. But. So yeah, this is probably what it would look like, I guess, if I was to just get the tribal thing around, like, the tattoos I do have. Because I don't really want to cover some of them, because, like, this one's, like, an ancient quote from, like, you know, the ancient books so it has spiritual value to it I don't really want to cover it this one it's you know like this one can fit in with the tribal stuff right because it already has like the design to it in an essence and it could be kind of you know what I mean it could, this one could be worked around I guess 
but this quilt would probably get covered because without covering it it's like you know so that's what it's kind of difficult right now so i guess what i'm trying to say is like if you're gonna get tattoos like my recommendation is don't actually get tattoos because you know when i got them like they were actually considered cool but then they got overplayed but like i said if that's something you want to do do it right don't care about like oh tattoos are overplayed nowadays or whatever right but i'm just saying like they don't really suit everyone but i don't even think they suit me you know but you know if that's your life you know it's your choice or whatever if you want to get the tattoos go ahead you know but whatever i'll just explain these tattoos so this is like a spiritual call right it means like it doesn't matter where you come from or what your name is or who you are right none of that matters it's like your karmas and what you do is your identity and like a tree doesn't grow overnight right it takes time like you know a tree would be like your life growing with like the karmas the actions you perform and then it's like the apple and the tree like the fruit of your labor doesn't just come out of nowhere it takes time you know so like just do the good deeds and stuff because that's your true identity like your actions and what you do is what makes you and that's going to decide the kind of fruit you get at the end of the day if it's going to be fresh and crispy or if it's going to be rotten from the inside you know what i mean the whole re when you reap what you sow thing that's kind of what this is it's basically like you know karma type stuff this is like a karmic dragon or like a tribal type dragon <laughs> like it's, it was supposed to be like shenron but like a red version of shenron and like because like there's like actually a dragon ball with like two stars and like there are actually seven stars in total representing each of the dragon balls so it's like one star two three four five and then two stars are in one of the dragon balls so it's like it comes off as like a dragon ball like two dragon balls and then the dragon ball with two stars you know what i mean it's two and one kind of stuff and it's also actually turned into a dream catcher so you know stuff like that i mean the other side just has like an angel and then it says love forever because like angel because like you know do good deeds and all that stuff you know believe in god follow god's way and then love forever because like you know you should like because that's what life is really all about it's all about love right and if you're gonna love someone like love them with all your heart don't do a half-assed job but make sure they're worth that commitment first you know like you don't want to love the wrong person who might not even be worthy of your love so you got to be mindful of that but yeah like i have other tattoos too i have like the egyptian eye you know i have like one love you know obviously one love same you know so i have like two like love tattoos i guess like you gotta understand i was a teenager back then you know so i was like i thought this shit was cool now it's like bro why would you get this like love shit like who cares <laughs> like, you know what i mean but uh, yeah and also have like a tattoo that says like king because that was actually my first tattoo I ever got because my ego was so high like i guess when i was like a teenager i thought i was the shit and i was like i was only gonna get one tattoo and i was like you know what if i'm gonna get one tattoo i'm gonna get it like on the most painful spot right or one of the most like painful spots so i got it there and i got king because it's like you know you're only king if you really put something like that on to like the most painful spots get what i mean otherwise if you just put it whatever it's nothing get what i mean it was like it has a deep meaning to it but i'll be real it was super painful it was like my most painful tattoo everything else was like you know like eating a cake but i don't know like sometimes eating a cake is pretty hard too though still so i'll just say like it's like you know it's like having a glass of water like the rest of them like they are like yeah they were still painful but nothing compared to that one like that pain like scarred me in my like you know psyche i guess or like in my brain like hey like i don't know how to explain it man it's it's effed up but you know but my thinking was like yeah if i'm gonna get this one tattoo this is a tattoo i want to get like oh i'm the best of the best and i'm gonna get in the at the most painful spot 
So it proves to me and everyone that I really am the best of the best. So that was the thinking behind that. It's kind of immature now that I think about it. It's like, bro, but, you know. But then the tattoo stuff gets addicting, you know. Like, I don't know, some girls that I was seeing back then, like, they were really into it, and they thought it was so hot. But then I started getting too many tattoos because I got addicted to it. I don't know, it's hard to explain. You get addicted to the ink. Like, not everybody does, but some people do. And... I don't know, it's kind of messed up to be honest, because like you kind of like it's like you get addicted to the pain, you know, and then conquering the pain. And the tattoos kind of represent that in an essence. But it depends where you get them, because some places you can't even feel them, it's like a joke. And you know, I, I wasn't even on painkillers or whatever when I got any of these done, so you know, that would have probably made a huge difference, you know, but. Who knows? If I ever decide to get more, it might be something like this, or it might be like just a normal kind of sleeve. Not sure, but I always thought the tribal thing was cool. So, you know.